Good thing. Yeah. It is seven o'clock on Tuesday. We'll go ahead and call the who's the council meeting to order. Peterson? Here. Crimson? Here. Here. Schultz? Here. 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 Schultz? He's here. Okay. Wessel? Here. Hamilton? Here. Here. First on the agenda is last month's minutes. Oh. Second. Second. Motion to second to approve the previous council minutes. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Next is Treasurer's Report. So second. Motion and a second to approve the Treasurer's Report. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Next is Citizens Forum. Um, down in front of the council, you will see a sign that was designed by uh, a group of students at the high school. It's going to be placed over by the Little League Diamonds, and it's going to be the name of the new facility, uh, incorporating uh, Bill Coucher's work for the city and for uh, youth in this community. Uh, and that sign represents basically the four or five sporting events or athletic things that take place over there, the, the tennis courts, the basketball courts, the baseball, skating. Um, ice skating and hopefully soon uh, next year will be the skate park uh, at least starting on the skate park so uh, like I said that was designed by a group of students at the high school so that will be placed up within the next week or so hopefully mm -hmm. um, over by the Little League Diamonds so And did you want to know who designed it then? Yeah, we, we, had, know, a, we had a contest up at the school, and uh, Josh was really involved in that. And uh, you want to say the two winners, Josh? Uh, the two students were Christopher Heights and Angela Niprath. Chris is a, I believe, a sophomore at the high school, and Angela Niprath is a eighth grader at the middle school. Josh, did you have anything else to put in on that? Um, no, we're still, you know, trying to get funds for the skate park and, you know, working hard at the design. We got the design, we're going concrete. And uh, we got a guy, Masiano Skate Park Designs out of Florida that's going to come up here hopefully in, I don't know, five weeks or so to kind of look at where we got it. And he sent me a few designs in two different um, price ranges where he just, maybe we could start and they could add on later. And we're just trying to, we got to encourage is looking at the grant we applied for, and we should know this week if we're getting that grant. And then we're still working with Dom Tower on the grant. So. Josh, I got a question for you. Is there, is there a different way if somebody wants to make a donation rather than just GoFundMe? Can you make a direct donation to the city or something? Yeah, actually the, the school district has an account down there that they have a set aside oh, for okay. it so they could go there okay. if you wanted to go there and do a direct deposit there just right to the school district and they'll put it in the account okay okay thank you guys going into david do you have anything uh not right now okay no. going into committee reports first is planning commission <laughs> We had one planning commission meeting um, on Tuesday, June 9th. Uh, I would like a motion and a second to uh, accept this committee report as written. So moved. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve the minutes as written. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? To the Honorable Mayor and members of the Nacusa County Council, a planning commission meeting was held on Tuesday, June 9th, 2015 at 5.30 p.m. in the Nacusa Council Chambers. Members present were Al Marco Mayor, Joe Rush, the second city clerk, Larry Krupsack, Brad Hamilton, Robert Wenzel, and Bill Caberly, Public Works Director. Also in attendance were Tammy Niprath, Laura West, the CAP Services, Dave Smith, Terry Fancher, <coughs> and Carla Lank. Number one, discuss Tammy Niprath's existing conditional use permit to operate a cake and bake goods shop at 209 Second Street. Any changes in business operations will require reapplying for a new conditional use permit. No action. Okay. Next is Ways and Means. <coughs> Ways and Means has one meeting to report on. It was held today, Tuesday, June 9th at 6.15 p.m. in the council chambers. 
make a motion to accept the minutes as read. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve the Ways and Means minutes as read. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Ways and Means uh, meeting was held. Members present were Emmett Peterson, Terry Schmansky, Robert Schultz, Garrett Poole. Also in attendance was Mayor Al Marco, Robert Wenzel, August Woyak, Larry Krusak, Brad Hamilton, Bill Caverly, Terry Fancher, Dave Smith, and Sean Woods. Um, number one, we audited all the bills. Number two, we approved license applications. Number three, we discussed document management proposal. Number four, uh, recommended purchase of a photocopy machine for approximately $6,058. Uh, purchase a DM S link with OCR and searchable PDF for an additional $595. Number five, recommended transferring $9,000 to public works budget from insurance account. Gave, number six, gave permission to hold for the fire department to hold their dance at the safety center on August 8th from 4 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Number seven, took out an ad for the American Legion Baseball Tournament brochure for $250 for a colored ad. Number seven, we had the library report given by Robert Wenzel. Are there any questions? I just, I should have noticed it before I said yes. The, the printer from the copier from the library, does that need to be in the minutes that we okay to buy it from it? Yeah, that probably should be. Yeah, we did that originally. So you want to list it as line up item eight then, or? Yeah. Okay. Recommend purchasing. Uh, that's don't photo copy. Don't need to be picky. That should be number nine. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> purchasing copier from library. Used. That's color too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Four hundred box. Four <coughs> And on the license application, Joe, you have those all taped up on a list? Yes, this should be attached. See attached form. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. Here. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 okay, then number nine was recommend purchasing a copier from the library for $400. Any other questions? Um, recommend uh, <coughs> items one, two, Four, five, seven, eight, and nine. Six, two, right? For the, <coughs> yeah. For the, uh, your six is for oh, the. Oh, and six, six. yes. Yeah. Okay, for the party time. Second. No, nine, here's only eight. Motion and a second to approve items one, two, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the Ways and Means meeting. Roll call. Schultz? Yes. Troops Yes. Wenzel? Yes. Yes. Boyack? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Hamilton? Yes. Who? Yes. Schmansky? Yes. Next is Public Works. Right. Public Works shall have one meeting. I think that's the next step is there. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve the public works minutes as read. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? To the Honorable Mayor and members of the Coosa Common Council, public works meeting was held on Tuesday, June 2nd, 2015, at 4 p.m. in the Coosa Council Chamber. Members present were the first Secretary Shemansky, Garrett Coolen, and Robert Schultz. Also in attendance were Mayor Al Marco, Terry Fancher, Robert Rowe, and August Boyack. Item 1 recommend paying for black topping near 143 Wood Avenue at a cost of $2,800. Item two, recommend adjusting water bills for the following. 121 Beeler Avenue for a credit of $204 and 1016 West 4th Street for a credit of $121. Item three, discuss fire protection charge and water bills. Item four, discuss water updates. Item five, discuss policy on water disconnects. Item six, discuss wastewater treatment plan updates. Item seven, recommend wastewater rate increase of 20 cents per 1,000 gallons. It equates to about a 5% increase. 
Item 8, recommend Vital Avenue Road repairs from 1st Street to 3rd Street for approximately $32,000. Item 9, discuss holiday garbage pickup. Item 10, recommend sending two men to free training conference in Chempua Falls on June 18, 2015. I believe I should say for handbook on there because they are going to be spending one night. That should be for handbook. Uh, there's no other questions. Uh, question, yes, sir. Number one, is that the thing that had to get dug up? Yeah, the sewer. Yeah, sewer is a good place right now. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just thought about it from like, where, do you, where is that? And then number seven, how did, well, some information, maybe not even, why are we raising the sewer rate? Because that's the one area that we're flunking in from the DNR okay. on our uh, wastewater treatment program. Okay. We're behind quarter mil, mm -hmm. about a quarter million, and we're hoping that this will, through a period of years of doing small increases like this, that eventually we will catch up to where we'll start getting an A instead of an F. <laughs> and do we, do we, are we raising it because we can't make our operating costs, or is it just no. more of a DNR requirement that... It's, it's a DNR thing, and most of it hinges on... Um, Depreciation. 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 They Basically. come in, we've got the new stuff in there, but their math on how they depreciate everything so quickly. So there you set with not enough money. You know, they say, okay, you just put this client, you just put this pump in, it costs you twelve thousand dollars. Well if that pump goes out in three years, it's gonna cost you twenty four thousand dollars. You don't have enough money. Yeah. So the only way you get the money is to raise your rates. And we we said we went on the twenty cents. 20 cent rate base, why? Well, it's 5%. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes 20 cents per thousand is easier to handle. Than no, I'm just wondering, I mean, why did we settle on that? And that? It's a starter. It's a starting point. Rather than sit there and, and throw a whole $250,000 increase at people to get it banged back right now, why not just stair step it up over the years? So that's one, one bill we do have control over. Yeah. The water, we don't have anything, you know, they tell us to raise it, we raise it. At least the sewer, we can stair-step that up, and and that's the only bad mark we got against them. On, you know, hopefully this will get them off our back a little bit. I just, I understood why. I knew why you were doing it. Not everyone oh. watching might understand why their, their rates were being raised. That's okay. Why, you know, not every, not, they're not in all the committee meetings, so. Right. Yeah. Just when people ask why were the rates raised? I told my mom, the rest of people are going to know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell my mom. <laughs> so I got a question, Larry. The way I understand it is we're not really losing money in the wastewater, it's a depreciation against future repairs or something like that. Yeah. So it isn't yeah. like we're really losing money. No, no, we're not losing money. It's all depreciation. If you looked at the report, and Bill just got it here not too long ago, I believe it was, we aced everything except the finances. And, it's, and if you look at the report, it's depreciation, it tells us. Well, here's just, what would happen if we didn't do anything? What would the DNR do to us? And I, I don't want, but... Don't know. I've never tested it. Never tested I, I, I was, waters. I was yeah, yeah. understanding that we don't. They made, they made they it can, on water. They, they, they can they come and, and, and take they over our operation. They, they can. They let Nida start it over because he used to be the operator. Right, just, they, oh, you they can, explained this once before. Yeah, they can fine you yeah. and force you to raise your rates. Okay, so what, yeah. what would they it's find we us? How would they, is there a fine structure? And yeah. is there, is there, is the risk, does the risk of their fine well, outweigh raising the rates? Years ago, they were going to find us on the water, and that was very high. It was so much a day. It's per day. Yeah. That's what they find per day. I mean, yeah. is, there, is there the option that if they, can you just leave it as it is until they threaten action? I'm, just, I'm asking questions. Yeah. <laughs> the, way, the way I look at it, we do, the, we do the 5% now, that shows them that we're heading in the right direction and puts that fine farther away. I really don't want to find out what it is yeah. or, or how far you got to push them before they, before they do anything. I'm not interested in playing that game with the state agency because, and then I think they could double whammy you, not only fine you, but now they're going to come and say, no, you're this far behind, and it's going to take a 12% increase. Yeah. And we want that money up front now, and I think they could do that. 
I was satisfied for what they could say it's going to be 12, 20, whatever it takes to, to fill that gap. Yeah. I'm asking the question so people understand right. why we're doing it. You know, mm -hmm. it's not that we're losing money, it's just, I don't do it. You might touch on what the average monthly cost in dollars and cents or cents would actually be for that. Well, it'd be 20 cents more, and I think they pay four. Average of dollar, four dollars, about a dollar a month, about a dollar yeah. a month. Yeah, yeah. on your bill. Yeah, yeah. 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 So out of family of five, maybe a dollar a month. Yeah, yeah. and that's a, you know, that's yeah, you can look at your water bill if you use four thousand gallons, it's going to cost you eighty cents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. twenty cents, twenty cents per thousand. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. If there's no other questions, <laughs> move to adopt items one, two, seven, eight, and ten. There's a motion and a second to approve items 1, 2, 7, 8, 10 of the Public Works Committee. Uh, roll call. Krupset? Yes. Hamilton? Yes. Schmansky? Yes. Menzel? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Schultz? Yes. Kuhn? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. Next is Public Safety. Public safety in one meeting. Move for minutes to be approved as written. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve the minutes as written. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The Honorable Mayor, members of the Coosa County Council, public safety meeting was held on Tuesday, June 2nd, 2015, at 5 15 p.m. in the Coosa County Chambers. Members Brown, Terry Schmansky, Emmett Peterson, Gary Kuhn, Robert Wenzel. Also in attendance was August. Wyatt, Robert Schultz, Don Harnish, Ken Moody, Tim Roshevsky, Sean Woods, Bob Rowe, Mike Archie, and also went down to his mayor, Al Marco. Number one, recommend adopting police policy 400 to 406. Number two, recommend hiring Tim Roshevsky as part-time police, police officer. Number three, discuss the dilapidated building ordinance. And four, discuss code enforcement position. Any questions? One and two. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve items one and two of the Public Safety Committee. Roll call. Where? Yes. Who? Yes. Hamilton? Yes. Schmansky? Yes. Puzzle? Yes. Cripset? Yes. Schultz? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Next is Property Recreation and Human Affairs. Make a motion that the minutes be accepted as printed. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve the minutes as printed of the Property Recreation and Human Affairs Committee. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The Honorable Mayor and members of the Town Council, the Property Recreation and Human Affairs Meeting was held on Tuesday, June 2nd, 2015 at 615 in the Acoustic Council Chambers. Members present were Robert Wenzel, Chairperson, Eric Peterson, Secretary, Gary Kuhn, August Boyack, also in attendance was Sean Woods, Al Marco, Bill Kaberly, Perry Fancher, Don Harsh, Joan Harsh, Tammy Denkraft, and Dave Smith. Number one, discuss grant status for made by Frosted, closing at 328 Market Street and moving business back to residents on 2nd Street. This item is referred for discussion at Common Council meeting. And on that, I, don't, I think that was all handled in the previous meeting. Yeah, yeah number, thank you. number two, I recommend 2015 Pumpkin Fest be held at Riverside Park. I have no business has been started in the industrial park. That site would be the alternate site. Number three, discuss the industrial park with Don and Joan Harnish. Number four, discuss raising of house and garage at 307 First Street, project to begin after 4th of July. Number five, discuss skate park. The sign is done with possible placement on the corner of Market and Saxon Street. Number six, discuss accessory building for a community center. Recommend buying materials for a 10 by 16 foot building with costs not to exceed $3,000. Number seven, recommend attending Creek Moments Bridal Spo on Sunday, January 17th, 2016 at a cost of $85. Number eight, recommend hiring Marcus Woods for the DW Summer Hub. Number nine, discuss construction of a building in Riverside Cemetery for formal events. Number 10, recommend removing sidewalk and replace the replacement of fence at cemetery. The sidewalk is the, the front sidewalk. So we're just going to remove the sidewalk and that's 
Yeah. Well, I think we want to keep it to the first driveway. And the reason I say that is because there's people that use that every day with their bicycles just up to the first driveway. Right. Makes sense, but we have to maintain it. Right. Yes, we do. Make a motion to accept the two six seven. We hold 10 out for a separate vote. Clarify number two for me. So if, uh, if if there's no business, then where will it be? In the industrial park it, or in the it, park? It's going to be down at Riverside. Yeah. And if, there's, if they need an alternate because of rain or whatever, they can use the industrial park. Okay. And we put no business started, but you know, if there is a business started, we would discuss that at that time. It depends on how it would affect it. Uh, just clarification on that too. I mean, we had the discussion with the committee, but the pump confessed committee is the one decided that they decided to go out of the park. They decided to go out. They came to us with the official recommendation, that, and we said, "Good." Okay, I mean, we have. Uh, was there a second for the? Yeah, I think. Would you second? Okay. There's a motion a second for items two. Six, seven, and eight of the property recreation and the first committee. No, ten, no, ten no, is no, going to be separate. No. A roll call on those. Schmansky. Yes. Coon. Yes. Wenzel. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Way. Yes. Schultz. Yes. Hamilton. Yes. Ripsen. Yes. Motion and a second for item 10. Second. Well, I made a motion for a, a motion for approval of number 10. I'll take okay. So why are we removing the sidewalk? No, because somebody else comes in here and asks to remove the fence. I'm, I'm fine with the other But the sidewalk, you know, we don't allow anybody else to remove the sidewalk. Why are we doing that? Because I've got the problem. It's actually in poor shape. No, it's what, I'm replacing it. No, we use it. We're using it. It gets used right under the, the first driveway, and then people kind of go in there. But and then the sidewalk only goes to the center gate, and then it's grass the rest of the way. So we were just going to remove it from the driveway to the center gate because it is used in the first driveway. Mm -hmm. uh, but my original thought was we're going to remove it all. Yeah. But because it's it's not really even maintained that well. It's overgrown. Overgrown. It's low. It's being covered with dirt. Path. It's on the There's a bike path on the other side of the street. Yeah. In general, it looks. Mm -hmm. We've got sidewalk on both sides of the street, all over town. So I want to remove my sidewalk because they got sidewalk. That's not what All right. I just. I'm just. I think we're opening. I think we're opening the Pandora's box. I don't, I don't I really know if we can um, legally do that. Why? I, because of the fact that we got an ordinance saying we have to have some sidewalk. Not every street this city has sidewalks. We're existing, we have existing sidewalks. Yeah, existing sidewalk. Existing sidewalk. Why don't we send her back and uh, discuss it? Yeah, final, final if there is an ordinance. Yeah, we're we're then, then, committee. then we better maintain it as well as we expect other people to maintain it. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm just this, is, this is, I'm not, you know, guys, and I'm sorry I didn't make the meeting. I put, no, 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 three eleven signs. Just, but here's what's going on. Is we're telling people you got to maintain your sidewalk. I don't care if Joe has a uh, sidewalk across the street, you still have to maintain your sidewalk. I get this constantly. You know, I, there's a sidewalk over there. Why do I have to go? We've defended it 50,000 times in this council. You know, why we have sidewalk. You know, we've got sidewalks nowhere a lot of places. You know, every, everybody, you know, every once in a while it comes up, let's put sidewalk in the whole city. Well, if you want to put a million dollars into sidewalk and then have it sitting uh, sitting on our things, it's everybody can pay at 7%. we got to come up, you know, we can do that too. But here's what, if we've got sidewalk, we should maintain the sidewalk or change the ordinance, one of the two. I don't care which we do. I think we should find out what the ordinance was first before we do that. It should be sent to the public works. Leave it for the next meeting. Yeah. Caleb. 
we could send it to Public Works because it uh, technically wouldn't be that then. We were just right. doing stuff in the cemetery. Well, that's, yeah. 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 I'm going to go Public Works with it because yeah. now it really, it really, it really is. Public is there works. a motion or a second then to send that back? I'll make a motion. I'll second. Just the sidewalk first. Yes. Then we can move well, we were just, and we, we were supposed to. That's the one we want to do. The new one replacement cost would be. So oh, we, I sent it all back. All right. That's fine. Got it all back? Yep. yep. So item 10 is going to be referred back to me. Yep. Just so okay. we're done. Do you want to vote on that then? Or? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Thank you. Done. Next is wage and salary. Wage and salary had two meetings this month, uh, May 14th and May 18th. I move to adopt both sets of minutes. Second. Second. There's a motion to second to approve both minutes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The Honorable Mayor and members of the Inclusive Common Council, the wage and salary meeting was held Thursday, May 14th, 2015, 4 p.m. at the Inclusive Senior Community Center. Members present were Brad Hamilton, Larry Krusak, Robert Wendell, August Wyatt. All in attendance were Mayor Al Marco, Gary Weissrocker, uh, Assistant Police Chief Josh Polo, Chris Meyer, Brian Mahan, Andrew Berg, and Jason Dine. Item 1, moved by Schultz, second by Wyack, we want to close session pursuant to Wisconsin Statutes 19.851C to discuss 2015 wages and benefits for full-time police and full-time department heads. All members will be yes. Item 2, moved by Wyack, second by Schultz, to go to open session pursuant to Wisconsin Statutes 19.852. To make recommendations on closed session items, all members will vote yes. Item three, recommend adoption of the agreement between the city of Nakusa and the police union locals 475. Questions? I realize that I was not accepted. I was not accepted. Oh, I thought you went and said my name. Did you say my name? No. No. Who would you approve the uh, number three? Second. There's a motion and a second to approve item three of the Thursday, May 14th, waiting on salary committee meeting. Roll call. Schultz? Yes. Pierce? Yes. Boom? Yes. Wenzel? Yes. Schmansky? Yes. Moya? Yes. Kruzan? Yes. Hamilton? Yes. The Honorable Mayor and members of the Coast Common Council, which is our meeting was held on Monday, May 18th, 2015, at 4 p.m. in the large conference room at the Senior Center. Members present were Brad Hamilton, Larry Krusak, August Wack, Robert Schultz. Also present were Mayor Al Marco and Bill Haverly. Item 1, motion by Krusak, second by Schultz, going to closed session pursuant to Wisconsin Stats 19.851C for 2015 wage benefits negotiations for non unit personnel. All members voted yes. Item 2, motion by Krusak, second by Schultz, going to open session pursuant to Wisconsin Stats 19852 to make recommendations from closed session. All members voted yes. Item 3, recommend the EPW director salary of $68,888, effective January 1, 2015. Any questions? I would like to have a motion and a second to send that back to committee for further discussion. There's been some, I talked to Bill briefly before the meeting, um, there's been some discussion, some points have been brought up that weren't brought up in this vessel at that night. So I would like to just bring this back. Um, I'll make a motion. Second. Um, can, can we schedule that meeting, the next meeting, so I can just add it? That'll be up to whatever it works in the Brad's schedule. It's just, I, I'm not. 100% against it. I'm not 100% for it. There's just some other things that have been um, brought up that I would like to have discussed. So everything is on the table. So um, everything was on the table before. What the hell's going on? Roll call. Crew said? No. Schultz? No. Where? No. Hamilton? No. Cohen? No. Spansky? Yes. Wenzel? Who exactly are we voting to go back to committee or? 
Yes. Just to take that through that item three, item three, back. go back to committee for further discussion. And we're going to go back to committee. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Motion to adopt item three. Second. We can't talk about this anyway because it's a it's a apparently wages. There's, there's questions that should be answered. Well, Who is, this isn't a raise, this is a salary adjustment. So, I guess. Well, well you can't discuss it. You can discuss it, yeah. That's what's going to say. instead of taking the pay, they can bank the time up to 80 hours, and it stops. Now, we, at the time we set this up, back years ago, we stopped it at 80 hours, and I can't remember, there was, well, there was, I can remember, there was different different opinions as to how many hours. We got 120 for some, we got 80 for others. And what I would like to propose is that we uh, lift the, uh, uh, the amount of hours in the in the handbook. Anybody that takes time off under comp time has to get permission from their supervisors. Um, the, uh, they can't do anything with There's provisions in the handbook to what they can do, what they cannot do, all or, all around with this. So I would like to see I would like to see that uh, if it's all right with the, with the council to uh, lift that hours restriction on there, and I'd like to make that a motion so that they can get comp time instead of overtime. Right, that's what they're doing is they're, they're accumulating comp time. And again, you know, if, if I want to take comp time on Friday, um, Bill, I have to talk to Bill. Bill, can I take comp time on Friday? Or whoever that you talk to, the chief or whoever. And comp time, yes, okay, I can do it, but I don't know. I think there's a storm coming in that you best stay home, you know, stay, stick around, however it works out. And like I said, that's up to the department heads. What was the reason to go, what, why, why is it 80 hours enough? I don't, I don't know. It was set up years ago. It was, it, was, it was a number that we came up with back when we first started this out. And, you know, there's, mm -hmm. we've got some of them that are 120, some of them that are 80. You know, yeah, if you got 80 hours, you can stop. <coughs> the thing is, is if you accumulate 80 hours in the beginning of the summer, and Bill can't let you go throughout the whole summer, you can't mm -hmm. accumulate any more. So now we're paying time a half. They're, instead of accumulating they're time. forced to take over time. They're forced. Which, and the guys want the comp time. They do. They're, you know, they're, and it saves us money. It, work, it really works out nice. People, I shouldn't say the guys started here. But. So, and, and again, I make, make a motion to lift that uh, comp time hour restriction. I'll second that. They'd still be capped at 80, but it'd be revolving 80. Right, right. Yeah. Yep. It's all revolving. It it's just like I said, it just, it, it Cause you don't want a guy building the 200 drop. Well, that's what, yeah. yeah. I, so I, it would I don't be understand but right now it's 80 it's per year. Once it's, it's 80 per year, and after they cap 80, they can't do anymore. So they use up their comp time, they're done. But this is the revolving. So if I use eight hours out there, I can put eight hours back in the bank. Oh, I can, I can do right. more. Yeah. No, they're not going to. And like I said, That's if they quit, they don't get the money. They don't, yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 I'm just making sure. Okay. I'm in the lottery or get a job. Or 
Because once you said the rotate, I'm like, well, what? what's the difference? But right. right now it's 80 total per year. That's it. Yeah. And nobody's going to accumulate more than 80, I would think, here. You don't want to do, you know, 400 hours. What the hell, you know, by the time you get done, you'd be off for a year. Where so, that, how is that the comp time record fire then? Is it at one hour per one hour? One. Or is it at 1.1? It's one and a half per hour. It is. To lift yeah, for, the, non -salary. The, for non salary. Yeah. Salary is one, one to one. Yeah, just don't need motion for this? I mean, I mean, we did it. We did Larry said, yeah, it's so what is it? What is again? So I understand the wording that you want here to lift 80 hour restriction, 80 hour per year restriction bill. How does it? Yeah, do that's and, I, and I think if, as long as you get it in there, I'll get with you on the handbook and we can change right. the wording. It's basically lifting the 80 hour per year restriction, right? See, because we can take out a couple words and it'll just. You added the handbook, do you put an insert in there somehow? Or are you doing it? Put it on the server. Right. Yeah. You don't get a copy of it? Should be there. Should be there. So you're not going to, when you lift the 80 hour, then you're not going to have a max done? No. Yeah. Well, the max will be. It's, it's on page 13. Right now it says salary employees may take comp time at one per four one basis with a maximum of 120 hours used per year. All you have to do is take the used per year off and put down 120 hours revolving. Right, and then and if same with the 80. You stop at 120, yeah. and you pull out some. You put, go back in. You pull out. You goes back in. Right. And then now you, once you stop, you're done for the year. Right. You can't you're do done it for the year. So. If you get 120 a year. And hourly employee, employees are 80 with uh, per year. So if you take the per year off, you're not. You can fill Joe in, can't you? We're going to, yeah. Yes, yeah, so yeah. lift 80 hour per year restriction on use of content. Yeah. yeah. That's right here, Joe. Yeah, something like that. So if you take those two words, uh, three words off here and two words off there, you've got it. Okay. All right. <coughs> I'm good. We need a roll call in there. We can probably just do right there. Yeah, if you want. Uh, All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. It will save us money. Yeah, it will. City. Any, uh, Dave? I just wanted to, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to thank the city council um, for last year. They uh, gave me a grant for my business, and today we finished up the, uh, the last of the fence, and um, and especially Bill, because Bill spent a lot of time with me on it. You know, we had some issues and law lines and stuff like that, and you know, Bill was very helpful in it, and I appreciate it very much. And I'd like to just thank the council for the grant. It worked out really helped me out. Good, thank you, excellent, thank you. Anything else under new business? Monthly reports. First is police chief's monthly report. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Next is public works monthly report. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Next is the ambulance department's monthly report. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Mm -hmm. Next is the fire department's monthly report. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Next is the building inspector's report. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Next is community center's monthly report. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Next is the airport commission. I have just one thing on that, Mr. Mayor, before we approve the okay. uh, um, an alternate for the thing. Bless his heart, Mayor and I go there, go to these meetings, and sometimes I can't make it, and sometimes the Mayor can't make it, and then one of us don't sit. We just, it's just we, get, we can't get to the meetings. Uh, they're looking, they're looking for alternates. If, if anybody's interested, if, with the Mayor's permission. 
to sit in what I can't sit in. If any of you guys are vol can volunteer, I appreciate it. I don't. I miss like one or two a year. It's because, mostly because of three to eleven. When are your meetings? First Thursday, usually the first Thursday. Now I got them. I'm swamped because we got this uh, bunch of stuff going on. Uh, the next one's going to be July 8th, or excuse me, June 18th, and then I've got one July 2nd. I've got one July 5th, or 4th, 5th, 6th, somewhere through there. No, it can't be. So you love at the airport? That's at the airport, actual airport. Depending on depending on what's going on, some we have at the airport itself, some we have at the first floor conference room. If, especially if it's got to be closed session to discuss monetary or people or whatever. We, then we go to the first floor because that's close it off. We can't close the airport off. So uh, if anybody can would be interested in that, like again, with mayor's permission. Like I said, if, you, if, if I'm not in a meeting, usually first one, first Thursday, it really sucks for him too. Because he's got stuff going on for whatever. But, uh, again, if you can, if you can, if you can make her, you can. Uh, I do most. It just every once in a while, it's just it, 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 the stars do not align. Thank you. I move for the report. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Next is the bills. Here in two bill lists. Planning Commission 190, Ways and Means 250, Council 520, Mayor Salary 600, Board of Review 300, Public Works 250, Public Safety 250, Property Rec 250, Wage of Salary 500. We'll refer to the bills as presented. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Second? All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.